So certain stoves will only run on certain gas. They may not stock this kind of propane butane mix. Instead, they'll probably supply something like this, which is just butane. It has a different connection and won't go on to this. Usually I do bring plenty of gas with me, but it can't hurt just to put a, a little adapter with your stove. I'm just gonna set this stove up. I have done another video with a different adapter where I can actually pour the content of this into here. And for this scenario, that has just run out. Now this screws onto the stove first, which is really important. This section here forces a closed tight seal once it's connected to the gas. The empty container I take home and refill when they get home. Don't throw these. You can get these for about £1.50 a can. If you buy in bulk online, you're going to get them for about 80 pence each, which will refill one of these tins here twice. This is the valve for the stove. This is the adapter. This way round with that cone that sits in here, which has a threaded end. Always thread to your stove first, not the can. Once I have good tight lock there, bring these pieces so they meet in the middle. Introduce the can which has this cutout section here. With butane, it's safe to lie it down on its side. So it started flaring at first because the tin is lying on its side. But if you don't disturb it from now on, you can see it's a very regular pattern flame. Now I have a smaller orange box stove, which is the piggyback type, which are great for the butane and propane. Now, although it will work, it won't be stable. It becomes top heavy when you fit it and you're in danger of it tipping over. A way around that, if you do have to use a piggyback stove, dig a hole and fill it at least halfway so that much is stuck in the ground dig it down and then you've got a stable platform 